what is going on everybody so got a new update in UFC 4 we have a Marlon Vera uh, aka Cheeto Vera character model now finally and uh, we also have an updated uh, fighter Alexander Volkanovsky now with a different haircut uh, actually no hair he is bald now been waiting for bald Volk for a minute me and my team have been talking about it forever so I'm really excited to use these two fighters um, let's jump right into this video. If you like it, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Here we go, guys. All right, we got the updated Volkanovski. Let's jump into quick fight so we can get a, a Marlon Vera and a Volkanovski fight. Here we go, man. I wish they would have added some more fighters, but you know you can't be too disappointed. At least we got the updated Volk, which looks amazing, and we got the Marlon Vera, which you guys will see in the next fight. So. Let's get it. Respect, brother. Is he going to touch my glove? That's the million dollar question. He is going to touch my glove. There he is. All right. Haven't used Vulk in a little bit, so we're just going to try to feel it out the first round. See what we can do. I can tell already he's got some good... Um, Good footwork, good distance management, I can already see it. So we're going to try to work that leg. I just got to set it up a little bit more. There we go. Volkanovski does have some short legs though, so you do got to get a little bit closer than you would um, with some of the fighters. If you can see, his legs are so tiny compared to um, McGregor, so just keep that in mind. Sometimes you will whiff when you think you should have hit one. That calf kick does a lot of damage, though. I'm not throwing regular leg kicks too much. I'm throwing a lot of calf kicks. This guy's got some good boxing, though. This is a fun fight. I like his little slip. Uh, his little slip. Ooh, love that combo. Double jab to the body, back to the lead hook. Beautiful combo. I've been working on that. Shoutouts to my teammates because they help me get better with everything. Whew! It's a good fight. He's bringing on the pressure now a little bit. So we're gonna not. We're gonna try not to have our back against the cage. Just circle out. I can see him slipping off, so I gotta be really careful throwing a jab because he can slip it and counter. So right now I'm trying to see what he's gonna do. He's working my body a little bit. Go to that leg. I think he checked that one. Good check. Ooh. Just a little bit out of distance. Bad whiff for me right there, but I, I come back with the good heaven movement. Triple jab it into a calf kick. Good body shot from him though. He's not catching on to that combo yet. Good catch. I was expecting a high kick right there, but I didn't get one. I think he went for a body uppercut. If he would have just went for a regular uppercut right there, I would have been in some trouble. This is a good fight. I gotta be careful. I can get caught in the pocket and get rocked. I'm not trying to lose this round off of rock. We only got 10 seconds left. So I am just gonna ride it out without throwing much in this last few seconds. Try to win that round. Whew, good round, man. So I'm thinking the next round I'm going to come in a little bit more pressure heavy. I'm not sure how that's going to work against Connor, especially with how he's using Connor, but we're going to see really quick how this is going to play out with my plan. No touch, okay. So we're going to meet in the middle. I'm going to try not to back up. He's going to have to set up those body shots because I am going to counter that if he does that too much. He does not want to keep doing that over and over with me. 
Ooh. We're applying that pressure with Valk right now. Let's hit the legs on the cage. Work that other leg. Try to circle and get him back against that cage. Because we're not planning on backing up right now. We're straight on pressure. Try to finish it right here. If he gets out, we will let him up. Nope. Good fight, man. And that is how you can switch up the game plan um, in between rounds. I had that in my head. I went out, I executed it, and I got the finish. But it doesn't always work like that. Sometimes your your new game plan will not end up working, so you got to go to plan C, plan D. But yeah, that was the updated Volkanovski. Uh, let's head on to Marlon Vera. Here he is right here. Whew. Frontal assault, frontal assault, razor wire, recharger, bulldog. Really, really good stats too. All right, so we are going up against a Cody Garbrandt. Let's see how this plays out, man. Cody Garbrandt usually is a pretty aggressive boxer. One of the better picks you can do at 35, but um, also a pretty bad chin. So we're going to try to exploit that, man. Respect, man. Respect, Cody. Cody ain't going to give me no respect. Nope. <laughs> All right, let's get it. Probably no glove touch. All right, let's just kick him. Ooh. So right away we got a pretty aggressive no love player. I gotta learn how to use Vera. Obviously we're coming with those calf kicks, one of my favorite strikes in the game. Gotta be really careful about exchanging with Cody in the pocket. Ooh. Get away from me, bro. You do not want to sit there and have a boxing match with Cody Garbrandt in the middle of the octagon. It's just not going to end well, usually. You got to use timing. You got to use speed. Your fight IQ. That's what beats Cody Garbrandt. If you just sit and exchange with him, let him walk you down, it's probably going to be a bad fight for you. Good body kick. Very aggressive, dude. Very aggressive. That's working against him right now, though. Ooh, great kick. Great kick. He landed a beautiful head kick right there. Really trying to punish this guy's leg. Ooh, clean hook. Clean hook. Oh, but he's got those good head kicks, though. I really enjoy the timing on when he throws those head kicks. Oof. Don't enjoy that front kick, though. My head movement really saved me right there. Catching him coming in. Let's try to work his body a little bit more, too, because I feel it's vulnerable. Oh, man. You really got to be careful with that Garbrandt chin. Oh, man. Oh, man. Good fight, bro. Whew. All right, so that is my Marlon Vera fight. Um... I had a different one I was going to show you guys, but that is going to be for a separate video that I didn't have to expect to make, but it's pretty crazy you guys will see that, but that is Cheeto Vera. I think it's a pretty good uh, fighter model. He looks really nice, and he feels well, too. He, he feels good, too. Like, that knockout was very powerful, and his tattoos are on point also. Love the neck tattoos. Yeah, all around, he has a pretty good feel. Um... Yeah, pretty happy with the update, even though it's only two things from my knowledge. If anything else got updated, make sure to drop it in the comments. Let me know, because from my knowledge, the only updates we got besides, like, some of the champions and 
little bit of stats was uh, Cheeto and then Volkanovski bald now. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.